Welcome to another video lesson from sketchnest.com. I'm Brandon. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Today we're going to be talking about the relationship between credit scores and interest rates. In particular, I want to show you um, a kind of a real world scenario how a better credit score can save you a lot of money. Now, here we have two borrowers, home buyers, if you will. Uh, this scary looking one down here is Jane. She has blue eyes. And this guy up here is John. So John has a credit score, a FICO credit score of 790, which is pretty good. Congratulations, John. Jane's is uh, still pretty good, but a little lower than John's. She has a FICO score of 640. Now you have more than one FICO score because there's more than one credit reporting agency. But let's just say that these are the average scores or the middle score for each of these borrowers. Now both of these home buyers are paying one point, which means they're paying one percent of the uh, loan amount at closing because they want to secure a lower rate or a better rate. They're both making down a twenty percent down payment, and they both have favorable debt to income ratios. Let's say less than thirty five percent debt to income ratio, and some of their other factors are the same. So they're getting a mortgage loan of $250,000 for a 30-year fixed term. So a $250,000 mortgage loan for 30-year fixed. They have similar criteria except for their credit scores are obviously different. John has a higher credit score than Jane. So John, because of his superlative credit, gets a 4.5% interest rate on the $250,000 loan. Jane gets a still a good rate, uh, but not the best rate going today. Of course, this video was made in 2010 when rates are extremely low. So here we have a point difference between the interest rate on the mortgage loan. How does that affect the mortgage payment if all other things are equal? John's mortgage payment is about $1,266. Jane's mortgage payment is $1,419. That's the monthly payment. Now let's spread this out over, let's assume they actually stay in the house, they both stay in the house and keep the loan for 30 years. Remember this is a 30 year fixed rate loan, $250,000. This is the total amount of interest. This is not the total amount of money that they're going to pay. This is just the total amount of interest that John and Jane would pay on their mortgages over a 30-year term. John would pay 200, over $206,000 just in interest. Jane would pay $261,000 just in interest over a 30-year term. That means at the monthly level, there's a $153 difference between what uh, Jane is paying and what John is paying. Jane is paying $153 more at the monthly level and over the 30 year term Jane is paying almost $50,000 more than John because she has a higher rate right one point higher than John's rate which ties back to her credit score with all other factors being equal the credit score got John a better interest rate and Jane a lower one. This is why credit scores are so important and in general why it's so important to get the best interest rate you can on a mortgage loan. You might think, well, point, what, how much difference could that make? What, is that really a big deal if I get a 5.5% or a 4.5%? You can now see how much it saves you on the monthly level. What could you do with an extra $150 a month? And what could you do with an extra 50 grand over the term of the loan. So it does make a big difference. And this is just a one point difference. You can imagine how these numbers would spread even further apart if there was a two point difference in the interest rate. So a lower rate is definitely worth pursuing. And one of the ways you can do it is by maintaining an excellent credit score. We will talk about how to do that in some other videos. And you can watch more videos like this one by visiting, visiting us online at sketchnest.com. Thanks for watching.